Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So I've got a Shiba Inu update for you. As you can see from the title, this is targeting the manipulation with the supply of both um, Shiba Inu, Bone and Doge Killer Leash. Now, each one of these coins has a very, very um, high percentage on the top 10 holders down to the uh, top 100 holders. So um, let's go over to SHIB now. We'll check this. And as you can see, um, there's 62.58% top holders. Now, this is quite a considerable amount. If you push this down to the top 100 holders, you have 81.93%. And this is the same across the board. As you can see here, it's pretty much near the same and it's the same nearly on all holders and this is not just to say that this is happening specifically with these three coins because this is not happening if you look at the Terra Classic um, holders you can see that it's really really a considerable amount in that top 10 holders that uh, leaves less than 7% for the um, rest of the community and if you think about it, this is really a considerable amount for the top 100 people that are holding this coin to be holding. So moving over quickly to uh, Terra Classic, as you can see that the top 10 holders here are a lot lower than 80%. The top 10 holders hold around 45.48%. And remember folks, this is all according to coin market cap. So these, this is the source. This is where we're getting this information from. Um, if we move now back over to um, the Shiba Inu holders situation and you seeing that this is the same across the board, this means that if, say we have a 100% pump, uh, you've got, I don't know, £10 invested, your £10 is not going to gain a great deal. But when you are a holder of say this many tokens and there's a hundred percent um pump this is a considerable amount for you it's enough for you to sell 10 percent of your coins bag a nice profit um let it dump because you sold so much along with all the other whales um in turn dumping the price they buy in again and it goes up and we see this happening with a lot of people that get excited over whales buying in and this is actually not a good thing whales buying in can create huge pumps yes this is more on like new coins um, when they've just released it. That's what sort of um, can pretty much give big pumps. This was happening with Stepan and there's uh, the Step. I think it's Stepan and Step App. Uh, there's two coins that pretty much were having this. Um, whales were pretty much buying one, dumping the other and then dumping that one and buying the other because and then just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's not not nice for anybody who is a small short or just a small holder in general looking to make a bag and uh yeah it's just not nice to know that the top 100 holders do hold as much as they do uh the top 10 holders holding as much as they do and it's really just not good for um the overall price movement because it's not giving it time to actually grow enough yeah we have some monumental pumps um with this coin and other coins but one thing i always know is that bone and doge both seem uh sorry bone and doge killer leash seem to um they don't have such a hard time compared to ship ship seems to always have a hard time and uh if you didn't know this um they when the um, development team and the devs came out with the metaverse, uh, we was all under the assumption, well, I say we as the community, the ship community, we as the ship community pretty much have, we've wanted to be able to buy with ship. We didn't want to have to go and buy Ethereum and uh, lock bone and leash incentivizing people to buy bone and leash which are two coins created by the developers for the developers and i'm pretty sure they get a a fee for every they get paid for every coin that's minted or something like that i'm actually looking into that because it seems really sketchy to me that they're doing this and uh like i said shiba inu coin has never benefited really out of the metaverse by the time they come out and said right you can buy 
the metaverse lands with your Shiba Inu coin made it out to be some great thing and it's kind of like the the hype had died down and even now they still haven't sold all of those lands and this is worrying um why am i telling you this am i dragging this coin through the dirt and the other coins no i'm simply presenting you folks the facts that i feel like you deserve to know especially if you are holding a bag of shiba inu bone or doge and uh it's not to say people haven't made money or won't make money and i'm it's not me telling you to sell your bag. I'm not fudding you out. I'm literally just providing you with the facts. Remember, nothing's changed from me telling you this, okay? Nothing changes. You still hold your bag if you're holding it, right? And all you've gained is some information that is there for you. You can go and look at it. It's on coin market cap, and uh, in my opinion, it should be paid attention to. It shouldn't be something that's overlooked and uh, oversighted. So, yeah. My opinion with SHIB, great coin, great community, um, even great at ecosystem, so many great potentials, but um, the devs really need to start becoming more transparent, let us know what's going on, timeline of things, a proper, proper roadmap um, with everything output on it. These, these people are in charge of the future of Shiba Inu coin, and as much as people want to sit there and deny it, it is the truth. It's totally the truth. If the metaverse fails, what is Shiba Inu's future? Because being put on a Red Bull can is great, but what's it really doing for the price? It, we need to have a use case for this coin. And, and this is a thing that we're currently going through with um, Terra Classic. Uh, sorry, Terra Luna Classic. is bringing people back to the chain to make sure we've got a use case for these coins. And uh, Orion Money rely on USTC. So it would be nice to um, see them not set the sun on the project. But like I said, if you check other holders for other coins, and I have no doubt it is the same for Bitcoin, we can have a quick check and we can see how it is controlled by the uh, top holders so as you can see bitcoin is seriously not um apparently controlled by um a majority of people it seems to be split out very well between a lot of people so yeah um i hadn't really actually looked at the holders so i'm actually quite surprised maybe you're surprised as well this is a good thing that we're both surprised and we're we're treading the facts together here we're sort of unraveling a little bit of a story together okay folks so um i'm not going to drag this on too much longer the um shiba inu burn rates up around 557 percent which is absolutely amazing to see that people are still burning this is really good and uh it's it's really positive and like i said shiba inu coin has a great future and remember if you didn't if you wanted to buy land before you got put off at the fact that um they didn't let us buy with Shiba Inu coin. We had to get all these other coins, lock these coins, etc., etc. Just know now you can actually purchase the majority um, of your land's price with Shiba Inu. Of course, you're going to need to pay gas fees. Um, you may need to buy a little bit of bone and leash to lock, which, yes, is very annoying because why should you buy their coins to buy lands with the Shiba Inu coin that you folks have bought and purchased to support the community? right right exactly so um yeah i'm going to start dedicating more time to shiba inu and really um try and apply pressure to these developers to be transparent with you folks because you deserve it you deserve to know the truth you deserve to know the roadmap and you deserve to know what's going on at all times should you pay for information no way jose uh, if there's anyone called jose in the audience right now i'm very sorry for using your name as an analogy um so yeah i'll work on say, uh not saying um as much as well and uh i'll catch you folks in the next one stay safe out there it's not financial advice it's um beware of doppelgangers scammers anyone posting whatsapp numbers god they drive me insane i do moderate them i do keep on top of them and uh if you haven't joined our telegram group or the broadcaster feel free to do that um we have the lunar classic let it burn channel if there's any shiba inu followers here that support matthew perry's let it burn channel um just know we're doing the same thing with lunar classic and once that purpose is served and the time comes to hang the hat for lunar classic let it burn we will then turn our attention to the shiba inu community and remember you as the shiba inu community understand just how small uh, the Luna Classic communities burn um, the amount they have to burn is you understand better than anybody out of the whole crypto universe you folks understand exactly what it's like to be really burning at a 
an insane number to fathom in your head to think of all the to write it down it's just such an unfathomable number but the community is still working here you folks are great and uh yeah stay safe out there it's not financial advice catch you next one Stop.